How do I edit the homepage for my Premium Press website? Well, let me show you how. In front of me, we have one of our premium WordPress themes. This is the dating theme. However, this video can be used for all of the premium press themes. The concept is the same. So let me show you where to find and edit the homepage. The first thing we do is log into the admin area. Okay, we click premium press. And from the dashboard here, I'm going to be using this option called site manager. And it's the same option at the top here. So I can click on any of the links. The site manager is the place in premium press themes that you can manage all of the pages that come with premium press. So as you can see, we have home page, login page, register page, etc, etc. And these are all of the pages that you can edit and view and modify using the site manager. Now, we're going to be using the Elementor plugin to edit this page. And as you can see right at the top here, um, it's telling us we have not yet installed this plugin. So you can click install Elementor to get started or you can activate the plugin if you've already got it installed. It's worth noting that we do not have any features that require the pro version. So you can use the Elementor free version for everything within premium press themes. We don't even use the pro version ourselves. So there's no need to pay extra for it. So let's go ahead and activate Elementor. As I said, I already have it installed. I'm just going to go ahead and activate it. Okay, I've activated it. I'm going to navigate back to my site manager. Okay, so I can go ahead and start editing this page. Now, before we do, I'm just going to quickly point out, obviously, this is the page I've selected when I've installed the theme. If I decide I want to use a different design, I can do that first. I can go to designs within um, my, my theme and click design. Okay, there's an option here called change design. And here you'll find all of the default layouts that came with your theme. And obviously, these are coming, these are updated regularly. So check for new ones, obviously, when you update your theme. So these are designs. You can install, reinstall any of these designs. So for example, if I wanted this version, I can just click on view design to preview it. Okay, and these are homepage layouts. So as you can see, this is what the new design would be like. And if I decided I liked this design, I can click on install theme and it will set the default layout for my website as that layout. Okay. Now what this means now is that when I go ahead and edit in Elementor, I'm going to be editing this design and not the previous one. So again, go back to dashboard premium press okay i'm just going to use the site manager again okay and i'm going to get here to this page and what i'm going to do is again i'm going to click view just so we can see the options okay so basically it's just going to take me to the home page again i'm just previewing this page i can click edit which means i'm going to edit which i'll show you in a moment i have got the option to use a custom template which basically means if i've created a template um, previously say for example i have a, another website i've already created with um, elementor and i want to use that instead you can set it here maybe i'm using divi a different page builder and i want to use that instead go ahead set it here or maybe i've just created a different template altogether i can set that here okay and uh, we have an option to use multiple languages which means you can create multiple versions of a home page and then it will switch between it when the user selects a different language so let's stick with the topic let's go ahead and edit the home page so i'm going to click edit Okay, what it's going to do is going to drag all of the design blocks for this page here into Elementor so that I can um, have the freedom to edit this page. Okay, so now we have the page loaded in Elementor. And as you can see, if I just hover over any of the elements, I can go ahead and delete them. I can modify them using the default and native functions within Elementor. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm not going to cover any of the native functions. So for example, if I just click on this option here, we have the content. These options here are part of the premium press setup. Styles, some of these are also part of the premium press. But the advanced options, these are all native features. So for example, changing margins and paddings in, in mobile elements, etc. Those are all native to Elementor. And I'm not going to cover those in this video. You can find many, many tutorials online about how to use those. Um, so let's just have a look at what's presented and what's different in the actual premium press theme. So let's start with, for example, the hero here. To change any of the content, as you see, you can just click it and then just change the text. Okay, that's very straightforward. Same with all of the text content. Just click it once, change the text, save it. Okay, and then obviously you can go ahead and preview your homepage. So let's just visit my homepage. Okay, you can see all of the text, etc., that we change in Elementor is instantly visible on your homepage. Now, at this point, it's, very, it's, it's worth noting that if you're going to be editing your website, any page on your website, disable your caching plugins, please, because it just saves so much problems. The amount of emails we get every day from people using caching plugins and the page is cached and then they can't see the design changes, you, you wouldn't believe it. So please, turn off your caching plugins if you're going to be editing your website and then turn them back on afterwards. Okay, that way then you save yourself a lot of problems with not seeing updated changes, etc. 
Okay, great. So let's go ahead and look at some of the other options. Again, so that's your text. Again, on the left-hand side, if I click this, you can edit the text on the left if you want to, or you can just click the text on the right and make the changes. There are lots of different options to change colors, etc., etc. These are all part of Elementor and then additional options built into the theme. Please also note that some of the blocks in the theme do not use all of the elements. So for example, you might not always have a subtitle in one of the blocks. So just note if it's not visible here, it's probably because it's not available within that actual design element. We have over 250 different design elements. So obviously not all of them are um, included in the same functions. So again, look at the buttons. We can click the button, change the text. On the left hand side, we have this button option here and we can change the links, etc. here. If you wanted to change the image, again, on the left hand side, there's an image here. Just choose an image you want from your library. Okay, insert the new image and it'll instantly update. Again, with text, for example, obviously it matches the background. Maybe I want to change the color. I can use the title here because this is what it is. Use the color options here and change the color. Okay, so it really is that simple. Also, if you wanted to go ahead, for example, and delete it, let's click on delete. We can do that there. Okay, update. And again, all of the changes are made instantly on your homepage. So, give it a page to refresh and it should be there and it will be there if you're not using a caching plugin okay as you can see now let's have a look at for example this element here okay this is what we call a listing block so let's click it once and your options are available on the left hand side you can obviously use the different elements so for example these are featured if i just wanted default layout and default order options here i can so that might not include features Okay, so let's just do random items. Okay, so as you can see, you got random. So you can use the options within the Elementor side elements here to change the display of different data values. Okay, if I just wanted to change, if I just wanted to display two, I can use two. If I want to go back to four, I just put four. It's very self-explanatory, and I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now, if you wanted to add new options, okay, we click on the little um, plus option here, and we have a premium press um, button here. So as you can see these two native to Elementor. You can use the premium press one. We click this once and now we've got hundreds of new blocks that you can add instantly to your website so let's go ahead and add a hero again so i could just click on this one and add in a completely new hero again this is all native so i could uh, i could adjust this one let's say for example i wanted to add some um, images or something like that instead i can just click on text with image and you can see a preview for each of the block in the in the um in the window here i just click it once and it'll be instantly added to my website so you can go crazy and build some amazing websites using the new premium press block system as well. Now, again, let's say, for example, I wanted to use a different layout. I've installed a new update and I like the layout. Let's learn how to re remove this home page and set a different one. So again, if we go back to the, um, our website, let's go back to the admin. OK, let's go premium press. The first thing I'm going to do is remove my current design. So I'm going to click on site manager again. OK, on the home page. You can see now this icon has turned yellow and this basically is telling you that you have a custom elemental design attached to it. So first thing we're going to do is set this to default. So we click this default template and say the changes. And you'll notice once you've done that, it goes back to gray, which means that you're now using the default homepage layout. I can view it, preview. Okay, and this is again the default layout. So now let me go ahead and set a different layout. And it's the same process as I explained in a moment. Let's go back to the admin. Okay, we go premium press. We click on design. Okay, we click on change design. And now I just simply select a different layout. So let's preview this one. Okay, perfect. I like this one. It's good. I'm going to click install the theme. And it'll basically replace your existing homepage and elements with the new one. Okay, so there we go. I've now changed my homepage to a newly selected one from the admin area. So there we go, a very quick tutorial how to edit the homepage for your premium press team when you do it in the admin area under the site manager. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and I'll keep creating content just like this one. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.